So far, I've had bench mounted barrel vices. In this video, I'm gonna show you my new floor mounted setup. Gavin Gu here from ultimatereloader.com. Here on the channel, you've seen the Short Action Customs modular barrel vise. You've also seen the Bravo barrel vise from Short Action Customs. Here I've got the multi-base. We've got the arc mount. This is the barrel vise stand from Short Action Customs. In this video, I'm gonna drill into the floor. We're gonna bolt it down and we're gonna put this Bravo vise to use. So I'm gonna waste no time, start marking and drilling. So I got the barrel vise stand mounted. This thing is absolutely solid. Absolutely love it. And I could have a barrel that was 10 feet long if I wanted, and I'm not taking up space on the bench top. This is what I'm gonna do for a quick demo. I've got this, what is this? This is a 25 Creedmoor. I need to remove this barrel so I can swap for another one a little bit later. Uh, I measured the barrel shank. It's a inch and a quarter. So we're gonna Take our drywall tape. This is a cool trick from Short Action Customs. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap that. And then I have my inch and a quarter bushings right here for the vise. The nubs go on the top and on the bottom. And then we're just gonna feed it through. Make sure that we don't have contact with the blocks and then just slide it into place. And Short Action Customs actually provides the torque specs for these guys, but I have a pretty good sense of kind of where I need to be with torque. And you can tighten it down pretty well and not have trouble. I tighten my barrels to 90 foot-pounds. So I've got the Short Action Customs modular action wrench here with the appropriate head on it for the terminus action that we've got here. I already removed the bolt. So we can just go ahead and feed that in. I have this set to 90. I don't really need that for loosening per se. We're gonna pop it. There we go. That is a pretty simple way to do things. And as a side note, I really like this TW25B lubricant. This is heavy duty grease that was recommended to me by Bat Machine. Stuff works really, really good. So we've got our action. We can now loosen our clamps, clamping bolts here for the top block. I like to support the barrel and then give it a little bit of a spin. This particular barrel vise has springs on it that lift the top block up, which I think is really nice. Now we can just guide everything through as a unit like so. Boom! We've got our barrel ready for swapping to whatever else we're going to put on here next. I've yet to decide. So that's a quick highlight of not only the Bravo barrel vise, we've also got the modular barrel vise from Short Action Customs. We've got these two screws here for Arca. This is, this is probably one of the coolest features for this thing. We can just pop these babies and take and swap a different accessory on. Final scope level, a different uh, barrel vise, or whatever else we want to put on here that's Arca. So I really like this system. This is now our standard barrel vise. And uh, if you're looking for a barrel vise or a modular action wrench, check out, check out these products from Short Action Customs. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're going to want to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. 
If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.